you taught at, at Lenore City High School for how many years? Eleven. Eleven. Uh, how did you get to school? Did you take the ferry each day? Uh, we all walked across the dam. Soon. Well, I was healthier that year than any time <laughs> ever. But I parked my car over there, close, pretty close to the dam, and they didn't like that. The lieutenant came and said, whose car is that? <laughs> But the guards didn't let me do it, you know, they knew me, they knew my family. And, uh, but I came across the dam and then across the ferry. Okay. But mostly walked. When I was in high school, uh, I rode with Patsy to school, because she taught there. Right. And uh, we had to go across the ferry. Sometimes we'd cross the, uh, walk across the dam, but most of the time we crossed the ferry. Especially in inclement weather, mm -hmm. uh, we, would, we would ride the ferry. Uh, and during the day, there, there's not much uh, uh, possibility of anything going wrong with the ferry. It was about at dusk on into the night mm -hmm. is when most of the activity occurred that, that the people complained about the ferry. Mm -hmm. I mean, they complained about it all the time, but uh, it was reasonably safe during the day. It was. It was at night, it was not safe. Okay. But during it, they, you'd go down there and they'd say, we ain't ferrying today, we'll take you over in the yawl if you really have to go. And some people went in the yawl to work in the morning. Um, why was it not as safe at, at night? Because the, uh, the operators at night were prone to partake of the illegal <laughs> alcohol that was uh, being manufactured all up the Middle Tennessee River generally. And, uh, that's that's what to quote Patsy. That's when they offered to take people over in the yawl rather than, <laughs> than, than opening okay. up the ferry to uh, take the people across. And you could buy whiskey on the ferry generally. From oh yeah, I did sure, good. Sure. I didn't yeah. ever buy any better. You didn't. <laughs> no, imagine that. My career, my, back to my professional career. Okay. okay. I was texting Gail Hewins this morning. And um, she said she can still diagram <laughs> a complex sentence because of you. She said you were the best. Well, that's good. That's a good reputation to have. Yeah, she, and she also told me to tell you hello. <laughs> I loved uh, teaching. I loved my students, and they, most of them like me, but you can't please everybody. Right. So what did you like about teaching? Because they were at an age that they wanted to be independent, and I liked that independency that they had. So they were 15, 16, 17, and they, they wanted to be independent. Yeah. So there was no trouble in getting them to be interested in. We had uh, uh, windows that we decorated at Halloween, and they were eager to decorate those houses. Now then you couldn't get a match of TV to get them to do. But uh, I, I liked everything about teaching. The only thing I didn't like was that the superintendent made us join the professional services, and he didn't have any right to do that. But we didn't get our check until he had taken out. So you had to do that? You had to, or we didn't get a check. Yeah. We had to join the, the National Society and the local Tennessee teachers. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think any that, that, that Jack and Patsy helped me a lot with my book. We had quite a few lunches, didn't we, mm -hmm. uh, uh, over time. And, we did. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but one thing that always impressed me about Patsy as a teacher, anybody I mentioned, she could pinpoint them and tell me their, almost give me a synopsis of their personality. Uh, you know, uh, it was just, it's just amazing how clear she is about so many these students from how many years ago? Well, that was from uh, 60, 66, I guess, till about, no, I started at UT at uh, 66. But I went from there to UT. Right. And I did like teaching a lot. It was uh, very fulfilling as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you always had those students so that didn't like you. They would sit in the back and stare at you. All. Sure. Now, after Lenore City, 11 years, you went to UT. Why make the change? What motivated well, you? Well, they offered me the man that directed my master's degree. I don't have a doctorate. He offered me, and I thought I thought a long time back because I'm not much for change. I don't like change, but uh, I thought that would be good to see the difference in the high school and and very much the same. It's very much really? the same. Yes, very. I 
science. And I taught 37 years at UT. But uh, I enjoyed teaching all the way through the 50 years that I spent behind the desk. Well, where were your classes? What Do you remember the building? Yes, I, I had that front building. It's the smallest room there. They gave it to me. The room number three. There, the office was on one side, main door, my room on the right side. What, what, are you talking about UT? No, or yes, right? yes. Uh, UT. UT, what was the name of the building that you taught in? Uh, it was a new building. Humanities. Humanities, Humanities, Humanities building. Yeah, okay. I was trying to think when that was built. That was built in, and it opened up for classes in the, in the six, late 60s. Okay. Yeah, I had a lot of classes there. So did she. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so after 35 more years at UT. 37. Uh, 37, I'm sorry. And you landed on Lamar City. Why? Did you decide to retire? It's time. It was time. I was, you know, maybe now. Yeah. I was, uh, uh, I don't know how long I retired. I don't really what remember. What year was that you retired in? The, he'll know better than I did. 2002. Okay. Uh, Our mother died long about that time. Uh, and 2003. I but uh, I, I had help, except for asthma. I've always had asthma. But I had, I could have gone on longer. But it was time for me to quit. Yeah. You know, don't you? Yeah, you feel it in your bones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jack, what did you do uh, after school? Uh, where, where did you work? My sons never could explain to the <laughs> teachers or anybody else what I did. <laughs> but I did industrial development and, or economic development. And I did that for the state of Tennessee, did it for the state of Alabama. Uh, I was president of the Knoxville Chamber of Commerce, but even though I was president of the Knoxville Chamber of Commerce, I did industrial development for Knoxville in Knox County. Uh, worked for TVA for a while doing the same thing. Uh, was the first CEO <laughs> at uh, TRDA, Technical Reservoir Development Agency, which again is a story itself, and <coughs> my family's property was taken for the Telegram Dam Project. and were violently opposed to the sure. uh, Teleco Dam being built. And then their son started working for the agency that uh, TVA pawned the property off to to, uh, to, to develop. And uh, I think we did a good job. And uh, because you could, you could drive over there and see all the houses and all the new industry that's there. And to, to say that we started that, I'm, pr I'm proud of sure. that. What year did you retire? Uh, eight years ago, I was at Athens in, in McMinn County at the time, uh, 2013, okay. eight years ago. Yeah, it doesn't seem long. like it's been about five years ago, yeah. or four, or three, but uh, it's been, it been uh, eight, eight or nine years ago. One of the things they told me is that, you know, they felt that their family and your mother really encouraged them to make something of themselves, to yes, go beyond Bustletown. And there were a couple other situations where people were, uh, Bustletown kids who were not also many. encouraged. Not, not many, but not many. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm thinking of one fellow who was a very small little guy, I and mean, he was uh, bullied a lot. Gilbert? Gilbert, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, I was avoiding his name, but uh, but the teachers. But I had to know. The teachers encouraged him to do seventh and eighth grade together in one year to get him out of the of the situation, the rough yeah. situation at Russelltown School, and send him on to Maryville. And he became a CPA. You know, yeah. He went to Tennessee Tech too. Did he go to Tennessee Tech? Yeah, oh, because okay. I wrote it. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah.